name's Mark Rolfing. I've been hunting turkeys about 10 years, pretty much strictly bow hunting in the last five years. And I'd say in the last three years, I've shot spring and fall tags, now over 50 birds, predominantly all headshots. Of those 50 birds in the last three years, probably 47 of them were headshots with the Magnus bullhead and a few with the gobbler guillotine. I did take a few with that also, trying them all out. I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of different broadheads. The Magnus bullhead, the gobbler guillotine, and your large expandable. We're talking about the Rage or anything like that. Magnus bullhead, a three pack with extra set of blades online. You can find these things anywhere from $28 to $39.95. 100 grain is two and three quarter inch diameter. 125 grain is three and three quarter inch diameter. The pros, probably the biggest thing, you get a lifetime guarantee. You bend or break one of these things, bust the ferrule, simply take a picture of it, email it in, they'll send you a brand new one. The one thing I really like about the bullhead is straight out of the pack, it's just a solid piece. Screw it on, you're good to go. If you're shooting your regular arrows, when you come to full draw, there's a good chance you could hit your sight bracket. But Magnus and Victory Archery have put together these four-fletched, uncut arrows. I'm shooting about a 60-pound bow. These are 375 90s, so a little stiffer spine since it's a longer arrow. And when you come to full draw on that, you know, I'm, j I'm just in front of my sight, or it's not not a concern. If you are going to be back, you know, by your sight, you want to make sure these are indexed where you're not going to hit your sight. Magnus also has these quiver adapters, which this, this uh, broadhead I shot a turkey with yesterday. One of the blades is broken, which that's going to happen when you shoot turkeys, miss turkeys, whatever, you're going to bust some blades. And Magnus does give you a free set of replacement blades with their pack, so all I need to do is screw another blade on that one. I'll be good to go. These quiver adapters, just plastic little deals, there's not much to them. But you stick them in there and uh, pop your bullhead up in there. Good to go, carry them just like that. Bullhead, guillotine, either one. When you're head shooting, I'd say you're 90% gonna be dead on contact. The bird's gonna drop right there, you're gonna find them. I've shot enough where it's not always true though. I mean, I hate to sound gross, but once in a while you notch out their head or cut their beak off and they'll run off. They're bleeding and more than likely you can get them, but it's not always 100%. I'd say it's higher than body shots. You know, at body shots, you really got to know the bird's anatomy. You've really got to look at the body angle when you're shooting. And a lot of times when that bird's in close and you're pumped up, you know, it's pretty easy unless you've shot a lot of turkeys with your bow to just put it on center of mass and let it go. And when you do that, you end up, you hit them through the breast, not going to find them. Now let's talk about Aerodynamic Solutions Gobbler Guillotine. It's a two pack, three by three, four blade, 125 grain. You look for it on the internet, ranges anywhere $29.99 to $43.82. You're only getting two in here, although you can turn the blades around if you don't bend them or bend the ferrule. So you're kind of getting four in there as long as you don't, don't break them. You can make these match up to fold them and fit them into your quiver. Either one, bullhead, guillotine, not gonna matter. You're gonna need your bow tuned, really well tuned. That's a whole nother seminar. Easton Tuning Guide, Magnus Tech, Woody Sanford's got some good YouTube clips on that. There's all kinds of ways to tune your bow. Broadhead tune, paper tune, walk back tune. Just make sure that thing's spitting the arrow out as straight as it can be. No. No wobble, no cock to it. That's that's all you can do. And even at once you have that, I think you're still gonna have to move your sights with these bullheads or guillotines. 
just seems to be the way it is. Some people get it right on, don't have to move it, but I guess I usually have to move mine a little bit. The guillotine, not as easily resharpened as the bullhead. It used to be the old ones, you'd take it out of the package and it'd fall into about 10 pieces. Now I guess they got it down to four pieces, where the bullhead is just one piece. You take it out, screw it on. Let's take a look at the two blade rage. One thing, if you're gonna body shoot a turkey, I think it's a pretty good consensus. You want a big cutting diameter, which you're probably gonna get that with the big expandable. Anytime you got anything mechanical, you've got more potential for failure. That's just the way it is. But you take a look at these rages, they're, they're easy to tune. They're gonna fly like your field points because you don't have a lot of wind drag. It's, that's probably why they're so popular, to be honest with you, because they're easy to tune. They make a big hole, which is good. You want that for body shooting turkeys. The bigger the hole, the better. But you've got a small vital area, and you gotta know where you're aiming. Rage, no lifetime replacement guarantee, like the bullhead has. They, they've been known to open in flight. So this broadhead's entering a deer's body, turkey's body, hits that. It's supposed to break that O-ring right there. I was just pushing as hard as I could and I couldn't break it. So say then it does finally pop out. It's supposed to, uh, you know, end up like that. But just playing with these things, I mean, what the heck? How do you know this doesn't get I don't know. There just seems to be, you never know how things could end up going through. What I want to show you right here, I traced on a bullhead and a guillotine. The guillotine, you've got, you know, a square. You're throwing a square out there, inch and a half, inch and a half each side. So, you know, I guess you don't need to worry about which way these are turned. But you've, you've got an inch and a half where the bullhead, depending on one side you got two inches, one side you got an inch. So that's just something to consider. I don't know if it's a real big deal. It's kind of just chance anyway, it seems like. But And then your rage, yeah, you've just got, you know, two inches just in a flat line going through there, which shoving that through the body is going to do some damage. You th either throw the, the triangle, the square, or the line at them. Put any of them in the right spot, it'll kill them. That's all that matters. Well, let's test the sharpness on the bullhead. Let's try the guillotine. Guillotine's maybe not quite as sharp. A little harder to resharpen. Just wanted to point out the blades bent on the guillotine and the blades bent on the bullhead from shooting at these jeans. So jeans might be a little too dense. Pillow's probably the way to go. I'd say anything that swings and gives to absorb some of the shock. Try it out. So basically, in summary, bullhead, three per pack, lifetime replacement guarantee, replacement set of blades, right around $40, $39.99 or less. Gobbler guillotine, about the same price, two per pack. I like the bullhead for the lifetime guarantee, replaceable blades, pre-assembled. As far as body shooting them, if you're gonna do it, yeah, I'd say get something with a big cutting diameter and really study up on a, the bird's anatomy because that's a big deal, shot placement. Personally, I like the headshot. It's uh, it's ethical, you know, 90% of the time you kill them, they're dead right there, or you miss them. Or even if you hit them in the body, it bounces off, they're probably gonna live, where if you miss a shot or punch one through the breast with a regular broadhead, you know, three weeks later they get infected, end up dying. Ultimately, the choice is yours. It